Hey everyone, I seem to be having a problem with my MacBook um, cooling problems. So today I'm going to put in some new thermal compound Arctic Silver 5. To get access to the heatsink, we're going to have to remove the top case in. Start by removing the rear screws. Okay, the, the side screws, two on each side. So one on this side is rounded, so I just have to try and get that out. This one. Be the underside, there's three screws here. The main reason I'm doing this is anytime, pretty much anything I'm doing, the fan will ramp up to full speed and it's starting to annoy me pretty bad. So I thought I'd try and fix it with the thermal. Now we have to remove the battery, just coin in, get rid of the battery. There's three screws in here, which are the hard drive and RAM cover. If we just remove this. And your RAM cover comes out. And then there's three screws below where you've just taken them out. So you have to remove these. Apple really don't make these screws accessible. But you just got to get them. Then you have two on the side. So we have a few to take out here, I think it's four. Reason I'm doing this is this MacBook's coming up for a five year old and 
I don't think the thermal paste has ever been replaced, so hopefully it will give me better contact and better cooling. Hopefully. I'll have to see if this works or not. Now the top case should be able to lift out, but I'll have to try and get that rounded screw out, so... So if it even went in... basically just pry it up lift it up unhook the little cable lift it off Leave that book there. Okay, I'm going to rearrange the camera. So here's the internals of the iMac. Here's what we've got to remove. But first, we've got to remove this little felt strip. Now, there's three screws holding the actual heatsink on. One here. No, there's actually four. One here. And the final one's up here. Okay, I'm back. I had to take the fan out and I couldn't get these out. Well, do not on camera, the little temperature sensor cable things. So there is a little bit of dust here, but nothing extreme. I'm going to go clean all this old thermal paste off. And I'll be back soon. So that's me cleaned up the fan. Looks new. And the heatsink along with the processors, the GPU and the CPU. Time to put the thermal compound. I bought Arctic Silver 5. Focus on that. It's not great, but here we go. The aim here is to make a thin layer. And I think I just dropped the screw. Great fun.
So that's the thermal compound heat on. sink back on, put it all back together, boot it up. So that's all the internals back in. I'll just put it back together and then do a first boot. So that's my book all back together. Let's just start up to make sure everything's working. No bong because the sound's off. But it seems to be booting. Specs of this machine are late 2006, 2 gigahertz, 4 gigs of RAM, 8 gigabyte hard drive. Still a stock drive in it, but I'm going to have to upgrade that soon because it's full, pretty much. All in all, pretty easy install, just as long as you keep track of your screws. Didn't lose any, didn't misfit any, they all went back in. That's a boot up. Seems to be fine. Thanks for watching.